Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I need to put stuff to the side. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, Missy. Sorry, I am late. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is everything okay? I am having an allergy attack. Hello, Christoph. Hello, Tilda. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hi, Christine. Welcome, everyone. I have, uh, I was trying to do, I wanted to do iCADs, my Rolodex cards, but I'm finding that I can't just separate 10 minutes to do something. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Cat. And I'm going to sneeze now. Um, I get I get lost in time. I start doing something and you know, like my comments, you know, replies to comments and the group, Facebook group. And I didn't realize I I was way behind in my Patreon comments. Hi Debbie, hi Michelle. Um so I and emails, emails are just out of control. So, um, I start, okay, I tell myself, all right, one hour, I'll answer emails, and then I've got to get on to the next thing. I've got a million things I need to do, a million things. And then, so I start doing, you know, my emails, and then, you know, two hours goes by, and I'm still not done with my emails, and I realize, oh, I need to get on to something else. I need, uh, there's other things that I need to get done today. And I haven't commented on the YouTube videos and I haven't replied back in the, in the Facebook group. And so then I, I pull everything out, try to find things. I'm still disorganized. It's taking me forever to find anything. So I had actually did a video for Patreon doing some Rolodex I was doing backgrounds. I thought it would be faster if I just did a page of paint and stamping and, you know, make some backgrounds, cut them into the Rolodex pages. thought, oh, 15 minutes. I'll just make a page. 15, 15 minutes, half an hour. Um, it took me an hour to find all the stuff that I wanted. I spent half an hour with the with making the video, and I only decorated one page, both sides, um, for backgrounds. And then I had to clean up because I was using paint. I had to clean all that stuff up. The whole day was the iCADs and I didn't get anything done. Um, so what I, and here's the other thing too, guys. I, sorry, I'm having an allergy attack and I didn't want to take anything because whatever I take makes me feel horrible. My choices are be um, stuffly, be stuffed up and and stuff. Hi, Nick. Nick and Tina. Um, or feel horrible and not really be able to do anything. So I chose not to take anything and just be stuffed up today. So um, I, I'm not feeling horrible. I don't have a headache or anything. I'm just really stuffy. So please excuse me. Um, so I have decided that I have to get down to just doing one thing. Um, and also I have my family, um, my book to finish up. I have a year. My reunion, my next reunion is next year. Uh, but I find that I've got a lot of updates to do, a lot of corrections to do, and I've run out of time. So I'm thinking that I need to do it now, get it out of the way, so that it is all ready. Family, you know, my family comes first. So, um, okay, so 
and I need to clean up this room. I, I need to clean up this room. I need just to stop everything, organize my room so that I don't spend so much time trying to find what I'm doing. So I'm streamlining. Okay, my mind is all about making these personal books. And I'm going to talk about these personal, I guess they're they're kind of like junk journals. They're They're kind of blank books. They're kind of whatever you want them to be. They are made of what you have around them, around you. And I want to get into some of the process of doing them. Number one, it is cleaning out stuff. I'm using things up so I don't have to find a space to to organize and store it. I'm using it up instead, making the books. So it's kind of a twofold thing. It's kind of what my mind is doing right now. And I guess I wanted to glue that in. It's it, I want to just start putting some pages together, some of my collected papers and things like that. I just want to put stuff together and make some books. I don't necessarily want to fill them up with collage and things. I just want to, I, I collect paper, guys. Am I the only one? Hi, Joey. Am I the only one that just collects paper? I see an envelope with a great texture and I squirrel that away. Um... I find book pages that are really cool, wrapping paper, you know, uh, painted papers or whatever. This is a transparency I've had for 15 years or so. I'm going to sneeze. Never had, never could figure out what I wanted to do with it. I thought it was really cool. It's ended up in this book. Just hand those handmade papers, man. I love those handmade papers. Um... The ones that have texture, uh, and in fact, you guys all know that I was at Dice Daiso, and I found more papers. These are the those those kinds of cool papers that I find. Here, give me one second, you guys. I need to I need to mute for a second. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry, sorry. It's been raining. I think it's bringing down stuff. Um, it's making me sneeze. And of course the cats. Um, it's this wonderful, look at this paper. I love this, this stuff. And I'm going to sneeze again. So I found these at... Sorry, you know I should uh, experiment to see if how bad it is when I do sneeze because one of these tight days it's going to sneak out. Um, so I love these types of paper, love them. So when I see them, I get them right. I get them and then never use them. Um, so yes, I am on a use it up. Uh oh, got stuck to the. I guess I should stop putting it in this plastic bag because it's just going to get stuck on the sticky there. It's just going to get stuck on the sticky. And how cool is this? I have to use that in some collage or something. Oh, there I go, sniffling already. Um, so let me put that to the side. I also got this tracing paper. And I have no idea what it is. I haven't opened it yet. Tracing paper with patterns on it. And it is. It's just tracing paper with patterns on it. How cool is that? Oh, love that. Love that. And I'm not going to put them back in the thing. Maybe I should take them all out. So... I love this vellum or and I haven't taken it all out still. The handmade papers, and I don't know if I've got any of those handmade papers. Um, we all collect paper here. Uh, yeah. And 
these are just colored paper, but it is kind of like the rice papers and stuff. I actually took some out of one of the packages. I don't think this was the package. This is the package that I opened. But it's really thin. It's almost like tissue paper. It's got a little bit of texture to it. Let me get it out. I'm having a day here, guys. I can't get the paper out. Um, crinkling adds interest, right? But it's kind of, this is really shiny. Usually it's a matte finish. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I like it, like it. It's like matte on one side and, and glossy on the other. Cool stuff. Of course, I had to get some of the Japanese paper because they've got such cool patterns. And they had these design papers. Look, different patterns for, let me just show you the papers. How do you open it? different patterns for these. They're penguins. These are penguins. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Hi, Curly. Um, oh, these are penguins in circles. And white penguins. And I guess that's it. I thought there was more different kinds. Oh, they go... These go one way and the other way, so they are kind of different. I see. I see they are kind of different. Coolness. I like those, too. And then I found this Daiso, man. This is Daiso. So I think these packages cost me $1.50. Um, so these were fruit. Oh, and these are nice matte. Thin papers. Oh, they're double sided. <gasps> oh, pears, apples, kiwi. Oh, I love the kiwi. And blueberries. How cool is that? Let me take one of these out. I want one of the apples. Got polka dots on the outside. So, you like the pears? And this is GG. And there's a ton of, I think there's 80 pieces of paper in that one. In the penguins. There was a hundred pieces of paper. For a dollar fifty, I couldn't resist. So I I go crazy with pieces of paper. I like security envelopes. I like book pages. I like painted papers. I like, you know, um the let me put this to the side here. I like the Dollar Tree because I get the the maze books, the dot to dot books, because I use those in my books. You like the blueberries too? Hi, Shell. Hi, Denise. I love the maze books. Advanced mazes. I love this book, and they everybody has bought them. They are no longer, I can't find them anymore. And I've used up just about all of my book. Um, but I love these mazes. Look how cool that is. It, it is so cool for a book page, especially for something like this. I like the puzzle pages. The answer keys are really cool too. I love this. Let me. I don't think I grabbed one of these, so let me grab one of these while I am there. One of that, a couple of those. Let me put these to the side. I don't copy them. Um, I don't copy them. I probably should. Because as soon as I use something up that I really like, I can't find any more of it. Um, but I've got too much stuff. 
I've got too much stuff to copy things and worry about. Um, I need to use things up. I need to stop. I used to copy things. If I was afraid to use it, I used to copy it. Um, and then I never used it. Still afraid to use it. I'm getting over that. I am using my stuff now. I am using stuff. And the, what started that was the three-tier book. The three-tier book started me using the stuff instead of the copies of the stuff. I have way too much stuff. And you've seen my piles and my boxes and my shoe boxes and my binders and I have too much stuff. I cannot use all the stuff that I have. This project got me to start using up some of the stuff that I absolutely loved. I was waiting for the perfect project. Put everything together in this book. And this book, I love this book. Hi, Roesta. I love this book. And the reason is I used my precious stuff that I was waiting to use. I put it all together in this book. I think that's what really has done it for me. I know every time I pull this book out, I, I actually have four or five three-tier books in process that I need to work on. Anyway, so that has started curing me. Hi, Malia. Of hoarding my stuff. I am now ready to start using stuff. Um, and so what I am doing with all those pages and all that stuff that I collect, that I love, I am making those bits into pages of a book. Now, you can call this a junk journal or a personal book. It's all that special stuff made into pages. It could be maps of places that you went or places that you're planning on going or places that you wish you could. Um, I plan trips up to places. I'm not going anywhere, um, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun just to plan the trip as if I were kind of going and, you know, do the research and gather the maps and, you know, do a visual tour of pictures and stuff. And, but I, you know, and I love to travel. So that's the only way that I travel pretty much nowadays. Um, so this is what it is. It's a collection of these kinds of papers made into pages. So when I'm talking about this kind of, oh, I wish I could say your name. I should just come up with a name for you. Ashlid. Ashild, 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 Ashild. Am I getting close? Ashild. Oh, there I go snuffling. Hi, Norma. Hi, Joan. Lurk away, my dear. Thank you for being here. So, I did this book. Um, this is the book that I did the five-hole pamphlet stitch, and I. Again, collected scrapbook papers. There's some scrapbook papers that I really love. I love them so much. And you know, as soon as you use them, they'll never print them again. So you'll never find them in the stores. Um, but then again, you've got all these scrapbook papers that you're afraid to use because you're never going to come up with it again. And do you ever really see them? Do you ever look at them? Can you enjoy them? in wherever you're storing them. I am finding that putting them in a book, but then you will find more. <laughs> Ashild, Ashild, you will find more. And that's what we all, I need to get my, my mind into that zone. Stop worrying about using things up that I love. There's going to be more. There's going to be other stuff that I'm going to love just as much. It's going to be different. 
So I'm using it. I'm putting it in books and using it. So this is my personal, um, what I'm calling a personal book. I'm calling a personal book. So, hi, Carolyn. So this is one of those where, and I'm going to show you um, my pile of papers, but I have decided as I'm organizing and I have been I I've, I've been really busy guys. I really I need to get this the family stuff done so I can not worry about it. Um Thank you. Thank you. So, I gathered together some papers that I loved. Most of these are things that I was afraid to use, handmade paper, don't know what that was, but I liked this. I think it was the back of a frame. It was the paper covering the back of a frame. Some of my language pages from books. Times table. I don't know where I got this. I don't know where I got it, but I absolutely loved it. Didn't know what I was going to use it for. It is now a page in this book. This was a bag, like a gift bag thing for parties. That's a piece of a box. Wallpaper, vellum, this old music paper. And I just love how it's ripped and torn and distressed. Just love that. So, you know, this is just... And I don't want to do anything to it. I don't want to glue anything on top of it. I just want to enjoy it for what it is. This is a piece that I did probably three years ago on this really weird handmade paper that doesn't take glue very well. But I really liked that. Here's a, remember when they used to give you boarding passes on airplanes? That's one of those wrapping paper some braille, some other little bits. So I gathered together some really special pieces of paper. Now I'm getting close to not having my Arabic. That paper with the gold, yeah. It is, it's a part of a bag, like a gift, like a, that you get at parties, um, not gift bag, that you put candies and stuff in. Um, so that your guests can take it away. So I put that a little bit of that that Arabic page book page in this book so that I can enjoy it and look at it. And I don't want to do anything with it. I have this transparency page right over the top of it because I can see it through there. So it's all this kinds of paper and things that I love. Didn't really know what to do with. I put it together in one signature with this cover that I did a long time ago. It was a cool piece of paper and didn't know what to do with it. It's too thick for a it's too thick for a, a page itself, so but it's really thin for a cover. I decided I'd make it into a cover cover. So this is what the whole thing is. It's not necessarily a book that I've made that I'm going to use. It is a book that I've put together so I can enjoy it just as it is. It's a very quick project. And of course, you will come up with pages that are blank like this. And if you want to do something, add an image or do a little bit of painting or whatever. Um, there's a few pages to do that with. But on the whole, see here's a pretty blank page and I could probably find an image or something to glue on there that I would like. Make some crazy lady circles. Let me come right back guys.
Sorry, I am just, my nose is just running like crazy. So this book is made specifically to be able to enjoy those papers. And of course, I will be able to add a few images that I really like that I've been saving for that special project. And then I've got this wonderful little book that didn't take forever to make and I can enjoy my little bits that I've saved. Okay, so that's the whole thing. It's a personal book. It is that stuff that you treasure. It's stuff from your life. It is stuff like this. All right, let me get this stuff out here. So this is how I go about making this kind of book. I start to collect things that I love, that I want to see on pages. A lookbook. That is perfect, Mrs. Gigi. That is a wonderful name for it. A lookbook. So I already talked about those kinds of pages and those pages that I got at Daiso. So here's some other things that you could put in here. All right. Menus from your favorite places. You know, I love menus. This is a cool paper bag. I don't necessarily want it for the paper bag, but it's really cool paper. So I'm hoping to incorporate that as a page. This is wrapping paper. I love this wrapping paper. Love it. Um, it is, it's very plain on the back and I have, um, something to do with that. You know, those tickets that we've got at the Dollar Tree, all those tickets, they make really cool little pages in these books. And those little sheets that you get in the grocery store, those lotto little sheets also really good for pages. Book pages, I grabbed some of some music and some foreign language. I love book pages for everything. I like looking at them. I like collaging with them. I really enjoy them. So I grabbed a bunch of those kinds of things. And a bunch, a bunch. A paper that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was just a little booklet of notebook paper with jean patterns on them. Love that. Love that. I don't have a Daiso. I went to Texas. Texas has Daiso. A paper bag. It is very plain, but I was thinking if I put some paint on it or even some images on it or anything, I could use it as an envelope. This came from Joss Papers, and, you know, I love that kind of stuff. This is a piece of plastic. It's a scrapbook paper. If it's not paper, then it's plastic. I love that. I love that it's see-through. I love that it's plastic. Tracing paper. Those game, those game sheets. I'm doing some small little books. So the game sheets, and I thought I had a whole pile of stuff. I do, I do. Um, the game sheets are really cool to make into pages. So I have Yahtzee and Phase 10. I don't even know what that is. I think I was, I think I got it someplace else. Trionomos. The guest checks make great pages. Sales books, the receipts that we get are great pages. And I've got this one at the Dollar Tree. Great pages. We've got different colors and fun stuff. Fun stuff. So I grabbed some of those. Um, here's one of the Daiso papers. 
Now, I went crazy with paint yesterday. I went crazy with paint. You're going to Houston in August, Carolyn. There is a wonderful, the one in Houston is the best. That one had um, a whole craft section. It's where I got these papers. I got needles. They had washi tape. It, it, it was craziness how much stuff they got, they had. Um, they had the Japanese brushes for calligraphy. They had, oh, tons and tons of stuff. You'll like the one in Houston. I also went to the one in Katy, which is a little ways away. Not too, too far, but it, um, and it was just a little bit smaller. It didn't have quite as much. Go to the one in Houston. You're doing a four by four, Tilda? You're doing a four by four book? I don't think it's in, Daiso is not in Kansas. I think it's in California. You guys tell me where it is, because I'm, I'm not going to guess. You guys tell me where it is, and I'll, so I'll say the right thing. Um, security envelopes. I love the patterns. And... I'm always afraid to use them because I'm never going to find that pattern again. Or that pattern is really scarce. You know, you know how I am. I am trying to get over it. I am trying to use stuff. So there's some of that kind of thing in here. So what I did, there's a bunch of stuff. There's some scrapbook paper, some plain papers. And that kind of stuff. You just have the squares. You just have the squares that you're working on. So what I did, I've got a bunch of papers out here that were only painted on one side. Let me get this stuff out of the way here so I can show you what I did. Because not very often do I get the paint out. It is messy. Oh, and I wrote some stuff so that I can use that as a page. This is actually just the lyrics of a song that I didn't, I just wrote and wrote and wrote with no capital letters and no punctuation. Uh, I just wanted the writing. So that is that. Um, let me move this to the side here. Oh, and I'm going to sneeze again, guys. Sneeze again. Give me one second. Let me sneeze. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let me put this book to the side, too, so I can find it later. But what I did was I found... Now I'm going to start coughing. I found a bunch... Oh, here's some more that I, I wrote on a piece of stationery. And the other side was completely blank. So I actually took that... This is what I did earlier today. I actually put that down and started painting a cover using that as an under paper so that there was something on the other side of that page so it wasn't completely white and blank. But what I did was I grabbed some painted papers that were only painted on one side. This is a receipt. I just tore one of those out. Here's a doily. Here's a piece of painted paper. The other side...
Sorry, guys. One side was painted paper, the other side was blank, so I wanted some little bit of something on the other side. Here's another piece of painted paper. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff. Some of it, here's a Yahtzee thing. Some of it had some paint on one side, some of it didn't. And so I gathered it together and put the blank side. My air conditioning and my car is going crazy. I had to go and uh, get it looked at. I love these. I Every time I go, hi, Lada. Every time I go, I ask them for, for mine. Um, so I put the blank sides down. Here's a piece of wrapping paper. Put the blank sides down. Here's a piece of scrapbook paper. Some book pages. What else did I have here? I have a ton of stuff here. Um, some book pages and stuff like that. So I just like spread it out with the blank sides up right? So that it looks kind of like this. And then I got out some paint, and I actually still have the paint out. I didn't put it away. I, I got the paint out, and I started making a mess, and I started dripping and using the brayer and just brayering all over and letting it dry. I stamped craziness all over, which I can do again. Um, not using black. I didn't really want stuff to be really, to have a lot of contrast to it. So I was using colors. Let's see if I can find one. This one looks like a fun color to use. I think I tried to use that one and it was almost out. These are pretty old, you guys. Pretty old. I've had them for a while. So I would just stamp randomly. And I found that doing it this way got it got it going much faster. Thank you. Redis, Redis, thank you. Your typing is fine. Your typing is fine. So that's what I did. And I got, I did get out my, my acrylic inks that I never use enough. Dripped some of those over the papers. Let everything dry. Made sure things weren't sticking together. Let everything dry, then moved them around and did it all over again using different stamps and different colors. I did spray some of the glimmer mists and some of the sprays that I have. I sprayed, you know, randomly over um, doilies and stuff. So I put color on, on, Things that didn't have any color before. So, which makes them more interesting. Look how cool this is now. Right? So, after I got my little bits together, I am going to make one of these books from these papers. All right. I was trying to make a pile so I could decide what I wanted to use in this book. Let me just put it to the side. Let me get these out of the way. So I have more room. I'm not going to use paint right now, so let me put that to the side. More room, more room. I need more room. Let me put that to the side, and let me get out some of these papers that I already showed you. So what I did today, this morning, was I pulled out some pieces of cardboard. I don't, I like small books. I like small-ish kinds of things. So I 
made some um I made some covers. <laughs> My nose is starting to drip again. It's distracting me. I made some covers. Now this one was just a piece of white cardstock like this that I just painted and stamped. Nothing fancy at all. And I will use that as a cover. This one is more of a piece of cardboard like this. It was an ugly color. Didn't really like it. So I covered it in book pages randomly, used my brayer and brayered three different colors of paint, added some numbers and some more little bits of book page and stuff, and brayered some gold over all of that. So now I've got this cool little book page, book cover. Now I think I'm going to do just another single signature book and I'm going to use this cover let me get the other ones out of the way so this is the size of pages that I need if I want to use this this cover right this size page or smaller you know I like my different sized pages so Let's see if I can kind of bend this in half. I don't actually want to fold it, fold like a hard fold. I just want to know where the center is. So I've just kind of, I'm just kind of training it to, so I know where the center is. So it kind of bends in the center there. So that's the size of the book. And I think that's my cover. Um, of course, I can always add more stuff to it if it's not what I want. All right, so that is my cover. Now I, how many pages is my other one? How many pages? Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five pages. And that's kind of that's a that's a good size. That's a good size. Got quite a bit of stuff in it, but it using quite a bit of stuff up. It's not overwhelmingly large. Thank you all for your thumbs up. You guys are fabulous. So let me decide what I'm going to put in here. I've got this kind of color scheme going on. You know, I am a creature for color. And this bag is actually too big, so I can't use that. I can use this. I think I will. I don't like the color of that. I can use this one. It's very white on the back. Um, I'm thinking about this one. I'm going to use some painted papers instead. All right. So. Let's do some, I love this old, old music paper. It's a bit brittle. And I'm just going to rip pages. It goes faster. I'm going to steeze it good.
sorry, guys. Just, it's horrible. Let's see, I feel like I'm getting worse here as I'm talking. Maybe talking is making it worse. So that is a good page right there. I'm going to fold that. Um, I do want some more book page. I'm not necessarily going to fold everything in half because I like different size pages. Uh, maybe one more. Don't like that little edge there. And I think that is good for the book pages. Oh, this one looks pretty cool too, though. It's too long, so I'm going to take a little from the edges here. But find things that you really like, things that you've been saving for that special project that you want to look at, that you enjoy. Find that stuff. All right, so that's enough book pages, putting that to the side. I would like, actually I've got some of that stuff in here. All right, I'm going to use one of these because I love the numbers. So I'm just going to take that part off and use it as a page. I am also going to use some of these tickets. I don't necessarily like to use the perforated bit. So I'm going to fold a couple of those tickets in half so that I'm not folding over the perforated part. It makes it stronger. The perforations will come apart after uh, any kind of use at all. So if I fold the tickets in half this way, it's stronger. All right. I must be a paper whisperer. My tearing is neat. It's all about the metal ruler. And the other thing is putting the small end of your paper um, and having the large end to grab and tear from. If you try to do it the other way, you're trying to grab onto a little piece of paper and your paper is going to rip all over the place. That's the secret. You put your small end. I'm trying to figure out where I want this. Put your small end underneath the ruler. Hold it down on a, your surface and rip towards you. You're going to find that you have great tearing as well. Um, and I did a funny. Funny, it's curved funny that way. You don't rip or tear. That's all. That's it. There's not really a, a big secret to it. Let's see here. I'm going to take these little guys off. So that'll be a page. I love these little kitties. I think they're adorable. Wrapping paper. I love this wrapping paper, but the backs are really, it's really plain. Um, so before I put it in the book, I might want to do something with that. Um, it's easier to do something with it before you put it in the book. I am going to not use those for this book. Let me use some of this apple paper because it is really cool.
trying to decide which side to take off. Mine's mine's jagged too. If you've got really a lot of jagged edges going on, you're not holding your ruler down hard enough. Hi, Anne. You need to make sure that your ruler is holding down your paper so that um, it's not, uh, and I can show you. If, it's, if, you're, if the ruler's not holding it down, you're gonna get weird things going on. You're gonna get weird stuff going on. And if you leave the small little bit on that side, that helps too. If I were to do it the other way around and try to pull up the small part, you get, that's where you get, that's where you get, you have trouble. That's where you have trouble. Make sure that you're, you've got enough to hold on to and Rip it. Uh oh, I need to take some more off of that. It's too tall. Too tall. Small end underneath the ruler. See? That's where the ruler. That's where the ruler was not held tightly against the surface. That's why I got that weird chunk out of it. See? It's all crooked all crooked. All right. Okay. And let's see. I think I am not going to use those pages for this book. I don't think I'm going to use that for this book. I want to concentrate on these pages that I painted up yesterday. Let's choose some cool ones that I would like to use. I like this blue with this cover, so I'm gonna use that one. Pink and blue, uh, not, not so much. This is a wonderful security envelope. I, here is some, Parchment paper, I believe. It could be wax paper, but I think it's parchment paper. That is really pretty cool with paint on it. And it's got quite a bit of pink, but it also has gold. Do I want, oh, let me see if that one might work. This one kind of needed some more paint on it, but it's got a little bit of something. Purple, no. Some scrapbook paper. I don't like the looks of that in there. I kind of would like a doily. That's pink. Oh, this one's got to go in. That one's got to go in. Maybe some puzzle. Let me just get a bunch of papers. I can always not use all of them. Scrapbook paper. I don't necessarily want the red in there. That one would be cool. It's too big. This gold wrapping paper might be fun. The go pad. There's a little bit of paper. I don't want all I don't want it to be too matchy matchy when it comes to the color. That one that turned out really cool. I really like that. Hi Jennifer. Hi, Marion. Uh, that did turn out really cool, so I'm thinking I might use that. 
Here was a paper that I didn't get a whole lot of stuff done to. I used some ink pad on that. Yahtzee paper. we got to try the Yahtzee paper. That's pink. Don't necessarily want that. And this is a little card that you send back to Florida to get, to get more information. The official Florida vacation guide. Interesting. You could have Florida stuff mailed to you. Oh. That is nice to know. Let me put this to the side and see how many pieces I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. I wanted to use a guest check. Why didn't I grab a guest check? Let me grab one of those. I'm going to take the perforated bit off of it. Did I count that? I can't remember if I counted that or not. So I'm going to use a guest check and this little piece of plastic paper. The numbers. I just love that. And I might as well. Oh, we have to do something with the the kitties. They have to go in here. And I do want this one too. But these are way too white. So let me put this stuff away. I'm not going to use this stuff. I could actually use some tracing paper. That would be cool. Um, do I want, I don't want this, where's my other pieces of paper? Where did I put them? I don't necessarily want stars. I think there was some other cool stuff in there. Here it is. Here it is. Um, ooh, triangles. Triangles would be cool. All right. I'll pick that one. So these might need a little something. That one could use a little something. I am going to That could use a little something. Put these to the side. Now, I'm not using these, so they need to get out of my way. I think I'm going to spray some inks with the ruler out of the way. I think I am going to spray, just add some color to this extra white stuff here. So let me get stuff out here. And I want to use blue and Green, blue, and gold, and purple, I guess. There's some of that. Hi, hey, Chatty, Chatty Lane. Some green. And this leaves a lot of ink, so um, dabbing it 
is is good. Moving stuff around so other bits get some color is good. I love tracing paper that's been sprayed that gets a little wet because it's got such a great sound to it. All right. And I'm going to use some of this acrylic ink. It's going to drop some. Like that, some drops, some drops. And take this brayer and smush it around. That way it'll dry faster. All right, so that's how I added color to a lot of this stuff. Did it really fast, really, really fast. It dried pretty quickly. And I could actually, if I could find a blue, uh, if I could find a blue stamp pad, I want a dark blue stamp pad. See if I can find one. Ooh, here's archival ink, cobalt blue. You like the multi plate? It's you know, I am just running out of time, and it's getting the job done. <laughs> oh, this ink pad might be a little dry. It might be extremely dry. Yeah, it's it's it might it might need um some help. Let's see. I thought I saw something. Yes. This one is also a very old stamp pad. Let's see if it has any juice to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It does. So I like to stamp craziness all over the place. It is more random. Um, move things around. More random. I should use a different stamp. Clean that one off. All right. Let me use a different stamp, maybe some circles. I'm gonna need that lid here in a second. Maybe some circles. Trying to find places that look like it needs a little something. All right, I think that's it. That is good enough. I've got most of my pages are not just white anymore. So let's get back to how many pages I have. I'm going to have to rip some of these. Some of these are too long. So let me make a pile so I can go through them again and figure out what I'm doing here. All right. Here is my potential stuff that I'm using for this book. All right. Right size, right size, right size. Let's fold that. This is too big. Get my ruler out again and tear bottom of this off, I think. Like that. 
That goes into the fish bits. This is too wide as well. So let's let's take off the bottom part like that. There's paint on there, so I get to save that. Got paint all over my fingers. Cut that in half. This is too long. Okay, Sharon. Sorry, I got I got a little I'm gone a little crazy here with the it's too, too long still. Oh, I just ripped that all to shreds. Um, maybe I should use it as instead of a page. Maybe I should use it as collage on a page. Let me just put that to the side. It is very fun when you do it random like this. It is, it is, it is. All right. Um, that is too wide. So let me just rip off. Makes the pages different sizes. You know, I love that. That's the right size. That's the right size. It might be too wide. I wasn't supposed to do anything to that because I just loved that piece as it was. It's very wide, so I have to use that first so it can fit in there. That's good. Let's fold that. It's still kind of wet. This is way too long, so it needs to come off about there. So that wasn't a straight uh, rip, Tilda. That has some little gouges in there. And it is too long still, so let me make it a little shorter. This is too long. I don't know if it will actually rip, though. Tracing paper's a bit stronger and doesn't usually want to rip. All right, so it's not going to rip. I'm going to have to cut it. Oh, it sounds really good, though. This is too long and too wide this way. So let's take some of that off of it. No, that was a weird rip. There's stuff on those, so they go into the basket. That was a really weird rip. That's definitely not square but I still like it. Uh, but I need to take a little bit of that off because it's going to poke out. All right. I don't know if this one will rip either. Let me rip it this way. Yeah. Parchment paper doesn't really want to rip well, I guess I kind of got it to rip. See, Tilda? See, Tilda? Um, hi, Kathleen. Um, it happens to me sometimes, too. And I can use that someplace else. The guest check is already folded. This one is ready to go. That one is ready to go. Is that? It's going to be all right. 
That's going to be all right. That one is going to be all right. This one, let me just rip that part off. It's got some paint on it, so I'm going to save it. And fold that. This one is too long. <laughs> you must have jinxed me. It happens. It happens to me, too. Not all my, I see, And I like the imperfection. I like the way um, it looks. I would rather have my tears to be a little bit more have more jagged edges to them. I really would like to have jagged edges. So that's what I am going for. So it's, you know, let's just trade. You can have the straight edges and I can have your jagged edges because that's what I want. See? And because I wasn't holding the bottom here very well with the with the ruler. That's what happens. Some more great pieces and it is too long so let me take off that still too still too wide let me take off a little bit at the top so that's not so straight edged That folded, that was folded. This needs a little something taken off of it. I don't know which part I want to rip off. Um, because it's all really cool. <laughs> it's all really cool. I don't know. I'm going to take some of that off, I think. And... That one is ready to go. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. How did I manage to do that without? Yes, organic. Yes. No, I like, I like, I'm going too fast is what I'm doing. I'm not holding my ruler down um, well enough. And that's why I'm messing up so much because I'm going too fast. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So this is a large page and I want it pretty close to And so I'm going to start with that. And I'm just going to start, this is going to be a one signature book. And I know I'm going to start coughing. Let me cough while I don't have papers in my hand. All right, all right. I'm going to start with this guy, and I would like to put in different types of paper. Need a small ish one. I'm kind of putting things around so I can see what I've got here. What have I got, and what do I want? I want a smallish something. Put that in there. That one. Oh, that would be cool with the squares together. And this one. Put that painted paper in tickets next uh, 
that one. That one. It's too many circles together. Let's put this parchment paper in. I'm going to cough again. I'm going to cough. And I... Okay. Oh, put the kitties in. The kitties are really cool. And the triangle's up, I think. Let's see here. Book page. The apples. Doily. What else do I have? Plastic bit might have to go in here somewhere because it is pretty wide. So let me put it right there. Is it right side up? It is upside down. There we go. All right. And the page. Yahtzee sheet, another book page, and my guest check right in the center. All right, so let me fold that and kind of put it in here just to see if my pages are okay and you know they're gonna work. They don't. They're not coming out too badly. There is a little bit right there that's coming out. So let me trim that up just a tad. Figure out which way's up again. This is up. And this is up. So put it back. Make sure that that's what I want. It looks good. All right. So I am, since it's only one signature, I can just clip it together that way. All right. Clip, clipping it together. I'm going to get my, my phone book out here so I can punch holes. And I am just going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I'm not going to measure. Since I don't have more than one signature, I don't really have to worry about matching, matching everything all up to the cover and such, I can do the cover and the page. Cough. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, Carmen. <clears throat> I have something in my throat. It's a tick. It's not a allergy something. It's a... I feel like there's a hair in my throat. All right. So I am going to, until I choke again, I'm just going to 
punch. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punch five holes. I'm going to do a five hole pamphlet stitch. There are quite a few short pages. And so I want to make sure that those pages get anchored. And I need a inside of a book here to cradle so that my holes go all the way to the mountain fold here. I am. I'm going to do five holes and I'm not going to measure. Because I'm not putting more than one signature in a cover, it doesn't really matter where the holes are. So let's do a five hole pamphlet stitch. Put this baby together. And I'm going to use black. Using black. Now I have the video for the five hole pamphlet stitch. Let's see if I can pull it off because I, I revert back to the three hole pamphlet stitch. I don't know why I use that more often than the five hole. I'm trying to convert myself. Um, we'll see how that works. <laughs> we'll see how good that works. Up through the next hole. My holes might be too big. I think I need an awl that is not quite so wide. I'm trying not to split my threads too so I can pull it tight. This th thin thread really helps with that. All right. So my threads are on e either side. Make sure everything is tight. There's no loops anywhere. Everything is pretty tight. All right, just going to do it. I'm not going for perfection here. Imperfect is the new perfect. I want something a little different. So I'm kind of hoping that something goes awry. Of course it doesn't. When I want it to, it doesn't. All right, so I'm going to unclip it, and now I've got my book that doesn't have, it's not folded really well here. Um, imperfect perfection, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, that's what I am going for. Imperfect perfection. So it's not, it's more of a bent spine here. It's not a, a hard fold. So then I can put fun things on the inside. All right. So let's take a look at the pages. How much time do we have? We have a half an hour. <gasps> hey, Christine. Did I say hello to you, Christine? All right. So now I can look at my pages and there's, you know, something on just about all of them. But this is where I get my images out. And you guys, I couldn't find my images today. No idea what happened to them. But this is the place where I would start um, putting stuff. Let me get this out of the way here. I would like to put that in here somewhere. 
I do have my fussy cut images, but I was looking for, oh, I know what I've got. Right, that kind of a spine allows you to put stuff in there. No, this isn't what I wanted. I came across, while I was looking for my other, my other images, I came across a shoebox full of stuff. And I, it's been in here for such a long time, I don't even know what's in here. And I don't necessarily want to put this stuff in my book here because I want the stuff that I put in this book to be kind of special. It is my personal book. Nefertiri would be cool, though. So maybe I can find some things that interest me before I flip through the book. Let's see here. Quickly, quickly, just find some stuff. Nothing is jumping out at me. Oh, here's some more of those fish, but I don't really want to fussy, fussy cut fish out right now. And they're pink. They're pink. I don't really want pink. Let's see here. Something fun. Necessarily want that either. This is not my box that I absolutely love. Um, there's some birds. Birds might work. Pull that out. Let me pull that out just. Kind of cool. Just want a few things. Just a few little things, and nothing seems to be jumping out at me. Like I said, this isn't my normal, this isn't where, I think this is the images that I was thinking about. but didn't really sort into stuff that I really, really, really want to use. Hmm. Hi, Aunt Sandra. Hi, Pamela. It's so wonderful to see you, Aunt Sandra. Oh, this is a circle tree. We like that. Oh, you know what I could use is some stamps. Let me pull my stamps out. Some stamped images would be fun in this book. All right, that is a plan. All right. So I want to use my moon face. The zebra. Hmm, tree. Fish. And do a bird cage today. All right. All right. So at least I have some stuff here when I come across a page that looks like it needs something. All right. So as I flip through, um, it seems like this needs a little something, but not necessarily um, anything really large. I could actually get my fish bit basket out here. I bet I could find some stuff in it. 
or stickers would be good too. Look at this little lamb sticker. He needs to be somewhere. All right, so Oh, look at this eye. Those windows are cool. And that is really neat also. And I don't have any washi tape, but adding some of these kinds of things might be interesting as well. I know, I love the moon stamp too. All right, so let me, that little piece of scrapbook paper is calling to me. Let's get some things out here, just little bits of some stuff. Need to get one of my baskets out. Maybe that's what I needed all along. Oh, look at this eye. Oh. How cool is that? That needs to go somewhere. It needs to go. So let me look at pages until I find a page that needs this eye. And there it is right there. So let me get my gluing magazine out. That is in pretty bad shape, guys. It's in pretty bad shape. Hi, Janice. Thank you all for spending some time with me. Um, glue, 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 glue. For the newbies. And it seems like there have been quite a few new people to my channel here lately and I do appreciate all the new subscribers thank you so much would love to see you come back and see videos and would love to see you in chat um, I am Carla more people know me as caged fish I do a little bit of everything how cool that is. I don't like this straight edge here. I do not like that straight edge at all. So I am going to go to my little leftover fish bit basket here. And you can see all the stuff that I tore off is right here. Um, so let me pick something. Maybe not that one. Maybe this one. To put, to put, you can't see what I'm doing. To put on that straight edge, because that is really straight. Uh, maybe a book, book, book page, a book, something. I am not seeing anything. A little bit of book text. Why don't I not see any book text? All right. If you can't find it, make it. Right? Just put some book text there to hide that straight edge that makes my eyes go a little crazy. There. Just like that. It does kind of blend in the page a little bit better. And I don't want anything to go to waste. So I'll sit there and put that right there on top. All right. So I'm going back to the beginning again. I still think I need something here. So I am going to do some stamping. 
and I might stamp I might stamp my face here and I'm just going to go for it. It's probably going to be off. But that's okay because imperfect is perfect. Hi, Linda. If you can't find it, make it. I have tons of book pages, little bits left over everywhere. I have no idea where they are. They are not being seen right now. All right. Let me put that away. And I did do it off the edge, which is fine. So I have a little something on that page. This one looks like it needs a little something. So let's see here. What can I find? Here's some washi tape. That is too long. I need to cut it off. We cut the little birds off. And I need to put a little bit of glue on that. What do I do with my glue? I had a glue. What happened to it? I just had glue. Right? I did. Um How could I have lost my glue? What did I do with my glue? All right. Now, I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't moved from this chair. How did my glue disappear? Really? And all my other glues are way over, over there. You know what? I have... A bunch of this stuff to use up and it is right where I can reach it so I'm probably going to have to re-glue whatever I'd glue down with this stuff and now I've forgotten what I was gonna glue where am I where was I what was I doing gosh I was going to glue something on here what was it I have no idea. I have no idea. I am completely lost. I'm going to tear around this eye until I figure out what in the world I was doing. I blame it on my snuffles. I do. All about you being too snuffly. <laughs> that's my that's that's it. You know that's that's my excuse, guys. My excuse. Put that eye right there. What was I gonna put there? Washi. I I was gonna put washi. But then I saw something else that was going to work better, and I changed my mind. I thought, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, continuing on. This is a pretty plain page. I 
That would be kind of cool to have a a tip out here. Just need to glue it on. This was going to be a page for my little tiny book. My little sketchbook, my tiny sketchbook project. Just put it down there. So it tips out. All right. Still seems like I need something on that page. The windows would be cool on this tickets on these tickets. So let me just put the windows down. All right. Hi, Jane. Um, they seem to be. It, it's it, it it's it's I don't know. I've given up. I've given up. They seem to be okay, and then as soon as I think okay, it's all over, then something happens. You know. Let's see. There's the eye. Look at the kitties. Look at the kitties. Kind of would like to see her in this book, but she's kind of too too long, maybe. Maybe too long. Oh, and I wanted to put that in here too, somewhere. This uh, apples, you've got something to look at. Doily. Um, I'm going to do another stamp. I am going to do the tree right here. A mini tip out, yes. A mini tip out. Do the tree right there. And it's not gonna stamp perfectly because my pages are not gonna allow that. So hopefully it'll be really, really imperfect. As soon as I want it to be imperfect, sorry guys, I don't know why my camera shakes. I'm thinking I need to mount it to the wall. Haven't got that far yet. Um, maybe a tree. Don't like the looks of that. Oh. Nefertiri is too large. She's going to have to go someplace else. And maybe a bird. Hmm. Hmm. I really wish I could find my images, guys. I wish I could find my images. Um. Because I would really like, I would really like an image right here. I'm not liking that. Kind of do, but kind of don't. Um, this feels like it needs something here, too. So let me... This is a printout. I have this 
wooden box. I think it used to be a cigar box, but it doesn't have a lid. And so I scanned the side of the box that had the stamp and a hinge and printed it out. Oh, it's really plain on the uh, back side. It's really plain on the back side. So, I don't like that. Um, where was that? Stamp pad. Give it some color. Let's give it a little color. Should probably be using my little ink brushes because that's probably way too much color. But there it is. There it is. Remember, hello Lala, I got your email. I haven't had a chance to respond to it yet. We will miss you. I want black. All right, so I want that on here somewhere. Actually, I could put it as a tip out right there. All right, so let me glue. This stamp like that. There we go. So that's another tip out. Another thing I wanted to do is I have I bought these quite a while ago. A whole box of coin envelopes. Number ones, they're tiny little things, two and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. So they're small, but they're fun. And I am just going to rub some color on there and find a place to glue it so that there's a pocket. I want a pocket. I've got something so that I can add a little a little fun surprise in the pocket. You know I love the pockets. All right. So I think I am going to put it, it needs to be a pretty sturdy page. I think I'm going to put it over here. So lots of glue on the flap. Glue it on so it goes right in the book and I'm actually going to put a fish on here. Uh, 
but I'm going to put the fish on the inside so it's a surprise. Surprise fish. You have smaller in white? Wow. So my my fish didn't stamp correctly because I did it over the the glued part, but it's kind of cool. I kind of like him. I might have to draw the little bits of him in. I might, and then I can slip something fun into this little envelope. I might have to cut these up. Well, I can't because I just stamped a fish on there. I can't. So something is going to have to slide in there, but it'll be fun. That'll be nice. Okay, so that is used. Um, I'm running out of time. So let me just look for some pages that need a little something. And I think I'm going to put the bird cage right here. Just like that. Fly. Perfect. And everything else looks pretty good. So I may add just a little bit more to this as I notice that it needs something. It kind of needs something in the center. Um, and as soon as I find my images, I'll be able to add a little bit. But the thing about something kind of like this is you've used pages that mean something to you. You have found something, you know, that you made the pages from. And, you know, it could be anything, a grocery list, it could be a calendar page with all your notes and appointments and things on it images or even magazine pages wrapping paper from a present that you you got from somebody special or just about anything that you want to remember save have so your your pages almost are finished at that point. So all you need to do is add just a little bit of something and you're finished with your journal. And you can add some writing. That needs to be covered completely. Um, you can add your know, writing. It's a journal. So you can put all those things that you would put in a journal. You can write and stamp and make notes and add quotes and, you know, but you don't really have to add a ton of stuff because there's already things on the page. There's already things going on. You don't absolutely need to do something to every page. Some of them are just really cool the way they are. This is kind of on the same lines as visual journaling. I guess you could call it a collection journal. Some place that you can use those special pieces of paper that you've been collecting. Put them all together so that you can enjoy them. And then you don't have to go any further. You can add whatever you want to or not add anything at all. And that's what I mean by, hi, Emma, a personal, a personal journal, a personal junk journal. If you want to use things that um, 
you don't necessarily want to keep. Um, you can use anything. The pages can be anything that you've saved that means something to you. And then you can put little bits in as collage or you can use paper clips and clip things to the pages. Anything, anything that you want to do. Maybe I should add this little bit of paper that I wanted to add to this page. So it's a very personal. Everybody's is going to be, everybody's book would be completely different. Everybody collects different stuff. Everybody has different things that mean something to them. And this would be a place to have your collection all together. You can enjoy it. It's not in a shoebox. It's not in an envelope somewhere waiting to be used. You think your stuff doesn't mean enough to you? Well, and that should be, make it easier for you to use it then. All right. So there's our little personal book. And it's small enough that you can pop this into a bag, take it with you, you add your grocery list, or, you know, have something to doodle in. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. So, so this is what I'm spending my time with. I'm just, I'm a pretty addicted right now to just putting papers together. Uh, as I organize, I have a, it's a huge box that I am putting Um, my bits together that I want to make books from and so then they're all together so when I uh, want to make a book when I have time to make a book what happened to my lid? Oh it's on there um, so when I want to make a book I've got a bunch of papers ready to go and I can make the books any size that I want I really enjoy the larger size as well. It's the same thing, just gathering little bits of of your stash of things that you're saving, things that you want that you like, um, and using it in in a book so that you don't feel like you're just saving everything and not using anything. Let's start using stuff. Let's start using stuff. So I am really, this is, this is um, what I have been spending my time doing is, is actually organizing and putting papers together. And then I see all my papers together and I'm like, oh, I really would like to make a book right now, but I don't have any time. So I think Instead of doing the iCADs, I am going to continue or, or, organizing my space, collecting papers, and making some more little little books. Um, and I need to find my images so I have something to put in some of these little pages that need a little something. I never did use that zebra. Maybe next time. Maybe next time I will use the zebra. Get out my words. And just journal using found words. Found poetry. Um, that's a great way to journal. I collect way too many words and never use them. So they're fun. And they can be very, very personal. So thank you all for spending some time with me. I hope you make your own little books. Use up some of your stuff. Have some fun with it. Don't worry about the end result. Um,
Don't worry about the end result. Just have fun creating something. Um, the more fun you have with something like this, the more you like it at the end. Something about having fun really changes your thoughts on the finished product. So let's use up some of our stuff. Thank you all for all your wonderful thumbs up. I hope to make a ton more books. I am going to be pretty busy for the next couple of weeks. I, Like I said, I want to do my family thing. Um, I want to get a head start um, trying to get that going. And I just got some new information from someone. I'm going to have to, to add a lot of information. I'm going to have to add. So thank you all. I will see you on Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern. And I will probably be still making books because that's what I have around me and that's what I need to be using up. So I'm going to make some more. I'm going to have a ton of these things by the time I finished. Of course, they're all going to be different sizes. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a great week. I will see you Tuesday.